bell. Last time, our intrepid heroes, Ford Prefect and Arthur Dent, had what only Ford could knew would be their last pints at the pub on Earth. While Ford had told Arthur this, Arthur chose not to believe him. He also chose not to believe that the Earth was about to be obliterated to make way for an intergalactic interstellar highway. Dent and Prefect, Prefect stuck out their, tongues, their thumbs just in time. Scene 7, exterior, space. The Earth is destroyed in a huge explosion. Scene 8, interior, Vogon spaceship. I bought some peanuts. What? If you've never been through a matter transference beam before, you've probably lost some salt and protein. The beer you had should have cushioned your system a bit. How are you feeling? Like a military academy. Bits of me keep on passing out and... Uh, if I asked you where the hell were we were, would I regret it? We're safe. Oh, well that's good. We're in a small galley cabin in one of the spaceships of the Vogon Constructor Fleet. Ah, well this is obviously some strange use of the word safe that I wasn't previously aware of. I'll have to look for a light. All right, so how did we get here? We hitched a lift. Excuse me? Are you trying to tell me that we just stuck out our thumbs in some... Bug-eyed monster stuck his head out and said, Hey, fellas, hop right in. I can take you as far as the Bassingstoke roundabout. Well, the thumb's an electronic sub-ether device. The roundabout's at Barnard Star, six light years away. But otherwise, that's more or less right. And the bug-eyed monster? It's green, yes. Fine. When can I go home? You can't. Aha! I found the light. A light comes on. Good grief. Is this really the interior of a flying saucer? It certainly is. What do you think? Well, it's a bit squalid, isn't it? What did you expect? Well, I don't know. Gleaming control panels, flashing lights, computer screens. Not old mattresses. These are the Dentrassi sleeping quarters. I thought you said they were called Bogons or something. The Bogons run the ship. The Dentrassi are the cooks. They let us on board. I'm confused. Here. Yeah. Have a look at this. What is it? What is it? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's an electronic book. It'll tell you everything you want to know. That's its job. Oh, I like the cover. Don't panic. It's the first helpful or intelligible thing anybody said to me all day. That's why it sells so well. Here, yeah, press this button and the screen will give you the index. You've got several million entries, so fast wind through the index to V. There you are, Vogon Constructor Fleet. Enter that code on the tabulator and read what it says. Vogon Constructor Fleets. Here's what to do if you get, want to get a lift from a Vogon. Forget it. They're one of the most unpleasant races in the galaxy. Not actually evil, but bad-tempered, bureaucratic, officious, and callous. They wouldn't even lift a finger to save their own grandmothers from the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll. Without orders, sign a triplicate, Sent in, sent back, queried, lost, found, subjected to public inquiry, lost again, and finally buried again a soft peat for three months and then recycled as firelighters. The best way to get a drink out of a bogon is to stick your finger down his throat, and the best way to irritate him is to feed his grandmother to the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll. What a strange book. So how did we get a lift then? Well, that's the point. It's out of date now. I'm doing field research for the new revised edition of the guide. So for instance, I'll have to include a revision pointing out that since the Vogons have made so much money being professionally unpleasant, they can now afford to employ Dentrassi cooks, which gives us a rather useful little loophole. Dentrassi? That sounds like Game of Thrones. Who are the Dentrassi? The best cooks and the best drink mixers, and they don't give a wet slap about anything else. And they'll always help hitchhikers on board, partly because they like the company, but mostly because it annoys the Vogons, which is exactly the sort of thing you need to know if you're an impoverished hitchhiker trying to see the marvels of the galaxy for less than 30 Altarian dollars a day. And that's my job. Fun, isn't it? It's amazing. 
Unfortunately, I got stuck on the earth for rather longer than I intended. I came for a week and was stranded for 15 years. Well, how did you get there in the first place? Oh, easy. I got a lift with a teaser. Oh, you don't know what a teaser is. I'll tell you. Teasers are usually rich kids with nothing to do. They cruise around looking for planets which haven't made interstellar contact yet and buzz them. <laughs> buzz them? Ah, yeah. They find some isolated spot with very few people around. They land right near some poor unsuspecting soul no one's ever going to believe, and then strut up and down in front of them wearing silly antennae on their head making beep beep <laughs> noises. <laughs> Rather childish, really. Uh, 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 Florida, I know this sounds like a silly question, but what am I doing here? Well, you know that. I rescued you from the Earth. And what has happened to the Earth? It's been disintegrated. Has it? Yes, it just boiled away into space. Well, look, I'm still a little bit upset about that. Oh, yes, I can understand. So what do I do? You come along with me and enjoy yourself. You'll have to have this fish in your ear. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Devil was that? <laughs> Listen, it might be important. <laughs> what? What? On Captain making an announcement on the PA. <laughs> when I'll speak Bogan. <laughs> So stop whatever you're doing and pay attention. First of all, I see from our instruments that we have a couple of hitchhikers aboard our ship. Hello, wherever you are. I just want to be totally clear that you are not at all welcome. I worked hard to get where I am today, and I didn't become a captain of a Vogon constructor ship simply so that I could turn into a taxi service for degenerate laborers. I have sent out a search party. As soon as they find you, I will put you off the ship. If you're lucky, I might read you some of my poetry first. Secondly, we are about to jump into hyperspace for the journey to the Bernard Star. On arrival, we will stay in dock for 72 hours. Refit. No one is to leave the ship during that time. I repeat, all planet leave is cancelled. I've just had an unhappy love affair, so I don't see why anyone else would have any fun. And message. Charming, these Vogons. Charming. I wish I had a daughter so I could forbid her to marry one. Stay tuned to see what becomes of 4-Prefect, <laughs> Arthur Dent, The Galaxy, Hitchhikers, Mindsets, Insight, and White Towels, and much more.